Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So it looks like Nicki Minaj is not giving up and she still wants her scammy. Now, it has been reported by the Grammy Guru that Nicki Minaj has submitted Pink Friday 2 for the 2025 scammies. Okay, now these are just submissions. I'm gonna go over a lot of different artist submissions. These are not the nominations, okay? So Pink Friday 2 was submitted for Album of the Year, Best Rap Album, and Best Engineer Album, Non-Classical. FTCU was submitted for Record of the Year, okay? And Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Song. Everybody was submitted for Song of the Year, Best Pop Duo, slash um, Best Group Performance, and then R&B uh, was allegedly submitted for Best Melodic Rap Performance, okay? Let me know how y'all feel about that. So it looks like Nicki Minaj is not boycotting despite the scammies playing in her face for years. Do you guys think in 2025 she would possibly be able to win, um, you know, a scammy? Finally, okay? Now, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 was a fire album, okay? I do feel like Nicki Minaj did put out one of the best female rap albums of the year. But she do have a lot of competition, especially when it comes to um, Kung Fu Kenny, Future, and Eminem, who also had very successful years. And Kung Fu Kenny wins the scammy every time he drops music. That's why Champagne Thickums said... Um, Kendrick just opened his mouth, give him a Grammy right now, okay? Because I think he got 17. But Kung Fu Kenny did not put out an album, okay? So he will get no album nominations. But he has submitted, allegedly, for Not Like Us and a few other um, songs he put out, which we're going to get into a little bit later, okay? Um, and to be quite honest, I think Nicki Minaj needs an ordinary... Um, award at the scammy. She needs to be honored by the scammies instead of, you know, winning best rap album or best rap performance because, you know, she's been snubbed for the last 15 years of her career. So they need to honor um, Nicki Minaj instead of giving um, her a regular scammy award. Um, I think that would make more sense. Um, you know, Dr. Dre was honored. Camel Face is honored. Okay, he was honored, um, you know, earlier this year. So it only makes sense for the Queen of Rap to get honored at, you know, the 2025 Scammies. But she might have to make amends with Camel Face and the Scammies executives. And it looks like Republic wants her to make amends. And that's why they're submitting her music to this year's scammies. Now, moving on from that, Doja Cat also submitted some singles and her album Scarlet um, to the deluxe to the scammies. Now, I think she already has one scammy for Kiss Me More, but she submitted Scarlet to Claude, album of the year and best rap album, um, Agora Hills, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Solo Performance, Best Music Video, Demons, Best um, Rap Performance, Best Rap Song, Acknowledge Me, Best Melodic Rap, and Jizu, Best Melodic Rap Performance, and Best Rap Song. Okay, I think that was the soundtrack that Camel Face asked her to get on. Um, you know, I don't agree with a lot of these nominations, I don't feel like Scarlett is going to get all these um, nominations, even though she submitted it. And y'all can say, oh, well, the label submits it. But um, the artist can say no. OK, so even though the label technically submits these songs, the artist has the right to say no and boycott the weekends doing it. And so is Champagne Thickums. But I don't think, you know, she'll get a lot of these um nominations no shade even though she submitted all these songs because to be quite honest scarlet too 
wasn't a big album. Okay, it didn't even do a lot. I think it did 28,000 for his week and only 400 copies in per sales. Didn't have a big enough impact, especially in rap culture. It just didn't. Okay, the songs came and went. You know, The Town is Dead was probably her biggest song on Scarlet, but she already got a nomination for that um, earlier this year. Now, Cardi B has been called out by blogger Armand Wiggins for allegedly threatening him or having people threaten him behind the scenes and they're like oh did you see what offset where offset is i'm like no i didn't see it i didn't i don't really follow i don't know they're like well offset is at the studio at cardi b's house in new york i said oh how do you know they said well he previewed a song with him and gunner which sounds great by the way um and i said really and they sent me the video and it did look like you know, the, the home studio that Cardi B has. But her focus is recording phone calls, private phone calls, recording Instagram live streams going off on her husband when it really should be being in that studio, recording an album to release. If you guys don't want people talking bad about you, if you guys don't want to get upset, if you guys don't like the negative press, stop using Stop exploiting the negative aspects in your relationship to the press. And listen, don't get mad at me. You guys can keep your threats. I don't want no DM threats. I don't want no phone calls. Keep your threats. You know, they get mad. Then they want to send you threats in the DM and shit like that. Keep your threats, please. Okay, so that's what Armand Wiggins said about Cardi B allegedly threatening him or sending someone allegedly off to cheat to threaten Armand Wiggins. And Cardi B did respond on spaces um, of whether she did threaten him or not. I never, I never send nobody to threaten or whatever. My baby daddy has the same algorithm miracle. that we all have. If he sees somebody that I used to be cool with constantly, picking with me, picking with me, picking with me, or like saying slick shit about me. I cannot help him from thing. He's, he's, he's crazy his own self. I cannot help him. If he want to go to somebody and be like, yo, why the f*** doing this, this and that? I can help it. I don't like, I can help him. I, so could do shit without even telling me. For somebody to try to hold something over my head, like, is that, oh yeah, because you want to send people to threat. I, if I send you, if, if, if I send somebody to threat you, I'm going to, I'm going to let you know it's coming from me. Cause I ain't scared of nobody. If I send if I send a hit for you or if I send a threat for you, I'ma stand on it. I'm not gonna cop no plea about it. Like it's like, yeah, I send I send that motherfucker something because you keep bothering me, but I didn't. If you a nigga, Ash if America. you a whole man, and my baby dad as a man feel like he has to defend me in something, I can't I can't stop him from from doing something. I just can't. I can't. I'm so tired of people feeling that like they have to, they holding something over my head. I don't care. I, like I said, I expose my own tea. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so it looks like Cardi B denies sending someone to punk Armand, but she said that she can't help if other people do it in her honor. Okay, which I don't believe. Okay, I definitely think she probably told a few people that she had issues with Armand because she feel like he's not praising her, okay, anymore. And so she wanted to press him, okay? She's done this before. I remember Akbar said the same thing about Cardi B, how Cardi B has sent people to jump Akbar in Atlanta. So I definitely believe that she did it and she knew about it and she orchestrated it. I don't believe that somebody just did that in her honor for a blogger. She was talking junk about Armand and she expressed that he was bothering her and that person stepped and that's what it is. Now, Cardi B has submitted a few songs to the scammies. Botched and Delusional submitted enough for record of the year, song of the year, Best rap performance, best rap song, best music video. Oh my goodness, this hoe is delusional. Enough is definitely not winning no record or song of the year. <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. Then she submitted her collaboration with Shakira as Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Duo, um, Best Group Performance, Best Music Video, and put them in the fridge. Was that her collaboration with Peso Pluma? That flopped. Best Melodic Rap Performance. Oh, no. Is Cardi B on them painkillers again? Okay, remember she was getting high as a kite on them painkillers because what made her think that she deserved any Grammy nominations this year? Like, is she on that stuff again? That didn't even make no logical sense. You didn't really have a big year. It wasn't a year for you. I can understand Megan, you know, putting in some nominations, but you, oh no, this was a flop. This was a chop. Now, speaking of Megan, Megan submitted... Um, her album, Megan, for album of the year, best rap album, okay? Mamushi, record of the year, song of the year, best rap performance, best music video, Piss, the Nicki Minaj and Champagne Thickums and Tory Lanez diss track, best rap performance, best rap song, Cobra, rock remix, best rock performance and best rock song. Okay. Oh, I remember she put out that remix and squeeze. That's the song that features scratch off on it, but it flopped um, for best pop duo and group performance. And that wasn't no best pop duo. That song, not even pop. They just put anything in any category. That's not even a pop song. Y'all need to sit down with that one. But I can understand man, Mushi being nominated, um, Even though this is not nominations, let me make that clear. This is just submissions. But I can understand Man Mushi being nominated. Piss being nominated because it went number one. Okay, and that caused a lot of controversy. Um, And even though I don't think it will win, I can understand Megan, the album, being nominated for Best um, Rap Album. Even though I don't think that is going to win up against Metro Future and Eminem. Okay, I think, you know, that's going to be very difficult to do. Now, Scratch Off submitted Sugar Honey Piss Tea for Album of the Year, Rap Album um, of the Year, and Engineering Album of the Year. Oh, my goodness, she's delusional. Big Mama, Best Melodic Rap Performance, no. Um, Best Rap Song, Brokey, um, Best Rap Song, Best Rap Performance, and we already talked about Squeeze, okay? The only nomination I think Scratch Off should get is for Brokey. Sugar Honey Piss Tea don't deserve no nomination. Stop. It barely sold anything. It went aluminum foil first week. I mean, come on now. Now, Gorilla Glue um, submitted everything, everything for album of the year, um, best rap album, which... It's funny because that was a mixtape. That wasn't even your album. Your album is coming out this week. Very interesting. Yeah, Glow, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Song. I do feel like Yeah, Glow deserves a nomination. Best Music Video, no. Bad Kids, what song is that? I didn't even hear that. And Wanna Be featuring Megan Thee Stallion was not submitted anywhere. Interesting. Shocking. Why did they want to do the wannabe song? Was it because Cardi B was on the remix? Maybe they didn't feel like, you know, she added anything to the song, but they could have nominated the original. That's very interesting. Now, Queen B is not playing around, okay? She has submitted Cowboy Carter for Album of the Year, Best Country Album, okay? She coming for that Best Country Album, okay? Texas Boredom. Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Country Song. Um, I think that she's going to have some heavy competition with Shabuzi for, um, you know, the country categories. Because Shabuzi, he dominated too. Um, Then she got um, also 16 Carriages, Best Country Solo Performance. Most Wanted, Best Country Duo featuring um, Purdue Chicken. Then Tyrant, Best R&B Song, Spaghetti, Best Melodic Rap Song, Bodyguard, Best Pop Solo Performance, Levi's Jeans, Best Pop Duo, okay? And then Yaya, Best Americana Performance. So let me know how y'all feel about these um, submissions 
from Queen B. Do you feel like she deserved all these nominations? I think she deserved a majority of them. I think she's going to have a lot of competition this year, even in the country, um, you know, categories, because Post Malone, basically country now, um, he's loved at the award shows. Um, Shabuzi dominated this year. Um, and you got the other country artists that been doing country since the beginning of their career. So she got a lot of competition, especially, you know, Billy, Billy Eilish, she dominated. Um, Sabrina dominated. So she going to have competition in the pop categories too. Now, moving on to Sabrina Carpenter, the princess of pop. Um, she also has submitted her music, obviously. Short and Sweet Album of the Year, Best Pop Vocal Album. Espresso Record of the Year. I feel like that could possibly win Record of the Year. And I also feel like Kung Fu Kenny deserves to win in that category. Um, best Pop Solo Performance. Please, please, please. Song of the Year and Best Music Video. Okay. Slim Pickens, Best Country Song, Best Country Solo Performance. Now, Sabrina, I know you're not trying to dibble and dabble into the country categories to outshine Queen B. You don't need to be in the country categories. You just trying to win um, against Queen B. Don't do that. Stay in pop lane. Okay. Queen B got enough competition and here you go putting your song in the country categories, knowing that you have the upper hand because you white. That ain't right. No, you don't deserve that nomination. Um, they should take that out. Okay. I even listened to that song. Okay. So absolutely positively not. I mean, goodness gracious, can Queen B have something? I mean, now she want to go into the country lane. Now, moving on to Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day is going to Normani. Okay. Um, Normani decided to submit Dopafine. Um, for album of the year and best R&B album. Now, I can understand you submitting it in the R&B categories, but you know damn well you do not deserve no album of the year nominations. Okay, Bormani, you didn't do nothing this year. You made no noise. You need to sit down. I think RCA The Colorist is trying to humiliate Normani by having her submit for album of the year. This is a humiliation ritual because ain't no way... You think you deserve album of the year. Okay? Stop smoking that stuff. And then candy paint for record of the year. <laughs> okay, you know, Normani, this is a good laugh. You obviously are joking, right? Okay? Song of the year, all yours, best R&B performance, best R&B song. To be quite honest, I don't think Normani deserves any nominations, but I can see why she submitted in the R&B category because there wasn't a, really a lot of female R&B artists that made a lot of noise. Okay? Not even Victoria Monet. It was kind of like a quiet year for her. But I don't really feel like you deserve any nominations because you're kind of lazy. I get that you was getting sabotaged. But at the end of the day, it just feels like you don't really want it no more. You're not hungry enough. So, you know, donkey of the day. Now, SZA um, submitted Saturn for record of the year, song of the year, R&B performance of the year, R&B song of the year. Absolutely not. SZA, sit the F down. Stop. Now, finally, we're moving on to the king of rap. Um, not like us, record of the year, song of the year, best rap performance, best rap song, best music video. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I don't care if y'all say I'm biased. Absolutely. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Imagine if he went for not like us, that will be the nail in the coffin to champagne thickums, BBL boy career. Okay. Um, so absolutely like that record of the year, song of the year, best rap performance and best rap song. Yes, absolutely. Like that was one of the best songs of 2024. So I hope he gets every nomination. I don't care. We got to put the nail in the coffin for Champagne Thickums. It's over. Now, moving on to Holly Bailey, um, fans have noticed that she quietly removes uh, some pictures of her and Doodle Garbage from her Instagram, even though I feel like she been archived them. I feel like she been have removed the pictures. I noticed that a few weeks ago. 
But it's now all starting to make sense. I just can't believe she allowed him to ruin her career. I really can't believe that. Like, she was getting a major push. You had Disney backing you and you got knocked up during the Little Mermaid um, era. Okay. Then he openly cheated on you and you took him back. I mean, that was just humiliating. I mean, this is just embarrassing. The only way she can level up from this is she got to get with like a Michael B. Dorton, a Damson Idris, Timothy Chamalay. She got to get with somebody that's richer and more accomplished than he is. Okay. That's the only way this is a W. If you get with another rapper, a D-list, YouTuber, Kai Sinat or anything like that, it is an L. Okay. Just letting you know that from now. Now, Big Billy submitted Hit Me Hard and Soft for Album of the Year. Best pop vocal album, absolutely. Birds of a Feather, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Solo Performance, absolutely. Guess Remix, Best Pop Duo Group, no, no. I'm sorry, Billy, but that was not it. Um, Okay, so we got the Amor De La Ma Vie. Over now, extended version. I don't even know what that is. For best dance pop recording and lunch for best music video. No, it was not the best music video, okay? Anything in the best music video category should go to Sabrina Carpenter. She was the only one that had a major budget for music videos, okay? Um, no shade. Now, Tanaje decided to submit um, a few singles and her album for um the scammies quantum baby album of the year best progressive r&b album best engineer album actually i do feel like tanaje should win in the r&b categories you know but i kind of consider tanaje to be kind of pop in a sense but she should be winning over normani in every category okay no shame nasty record of the year song of the year best r&b performance best music video well, the nasty music video was a pretty good music video, but I don't think it went over Sabrina Carpenter. But she definitely should win something for nasty and match my chick remix, um, best remix recording. No, now Katie, I gotta give you Donkey of the Day. You know damn well you don't deserve no nominations. I'm not even gonna read your nominations because you don't deserve no nominations. I mean, come on now. This was like the worst Katy Perry era ever in life, okay? Talking about record of the year, song of the year for lifetimes. No, absolutely not. Like, come on now, stop, sit down. Don't give the day. Now, Musty Walker is back, okay? I'm here for it. Musty Walker is coming back with her third studio album, and it looks like she will continue the Over It saga um, in her R&B album titles. I'm kind of over it though. You know what I'm getting? Like you did over it. You did still over it. Like we don't really need you to continue with the over it titles. I mean, can you hang that up? It's getting a little bit redundant. Okay. Even though you still get played by niggas in the game. So I can understand why you would say you still over it. Or I'm really, really, really over it. Because, you know, Meech cheated on you. Um, who was it? London on track cheated on you. The guy that you had the twins with, you not with him no more. So you do be having a lot of men issues, which I love because when you have men issues, the music is amazing. I want Summer Walker to continue to get her heart broken. No shade. No shade. It's really no shade, but she makes the best music when she does. Okay. I don't like Summer Walker when she's in a relationship. I like when Summer Walker is single and bitter. Okay, so she can make music that speaks to the soul. And so I am here for it because she had just went through a breakup with Meech. I think that was what, last year? Whenever he took his cousin to the grocery store or whatever. But the point of the matter is I am going to be definitely listening to this next album. Now moving on to Ice Spice. A lot of Ice Spice fans are a little bit worried about the longevity of Ice Spice's career. Okay, fans are noticing that allegedly Ice Spice and her record label did not submit any songs. Okay, 
to the scammies. Okay, she just put out a whole album, which did flop. So a lot of fans are worried about that. Like, why didn't Ice Spice submit if Cardi B was able to submit? She don't even have an album out. Me personally, I don't think Ice Spice had any songs to really submit. I don't think Cardi B should have submitted any of her music, to be quite honest. I don't think Scratch Off should have submitted any of her music. Okay. Um, even her album. I feel like if your album didn't make any noise, okay, even if it's a decent project, it just doesn't make sense to submit when you got other bigger names that did phenomenal projects and made noise. For example, does Scratch Off and Cardi B think that they can really compete with Kung Fu Kenny and Eminem and Future and Metro? Like, come on now. Okay. I mean, with all the payola that they've been getting all year, it still did not come close to what Kung Fu Kenny, not even close to what Megan did this year. So I don't even understand how they can really think that they can compete with, let alone Nicki Minaj, but then trying to compete with Eminem and, you know, future Metro and Kung Fu Kenny when no shade Cardi B put out trash, you know, scratch off did have a few good songs, but nobody cared. OK, um, you had a whole collaboration with Champagne Thickums and nobody cared. So half of these female um, rappers should not have submitted any of their music. OK, I also wonder, did Flo Millie submit anything? Because I feel like Never Lose Me by Flo Millie should definitely get a nomination for Best Melodic Rap. OK, I definitely feel like it should get a nomination, even though I feel like she going to have a hard time competing with Future. But I'm like, these female rappers, some of them are very delusional. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day.